Hello everyone, welcome to Inmath J YouTube channel. So today we are going to solve 20 MCQs. This is part 1 for the CBSE 2025 board exam and this is for class 12. So let's start. So this is section A. Multiple choice questions. Each question carries one mark. So before starting, a small advice. When you are writing this section A MCQ part in your question paper, do like this. The, suppose this is your margin like this is your answer script and draw a margin like this use this space for rough work I mean to get the answers of the MCQs right here this is section A suppose for question number 1 option number C is correct and option num for question number 2 option number b is correct suppose option number 3 suppose a is correct and option number 4 suppose d is correct again for 5 b is correct like this and write the options itself for every question and write here the options uh, whatever in the option b right here whatever in the option c right here this is a small advice for yourself because if you do this there will no deduction of marks and you will get full marks if the options are right the examiners will not check the rough work whatever you do in the rough work if you write the correct option here you will get the full marks okay so that's it so now the problem question number one if the order and degree of the differential equation this are m and n respectively then what is m and n so here this is first order derivative and this is second order derivative so in this differential equation the highest order derivative is 2 so order of the differential equation is 2 and the degree uh, of this second order derivative is 1 so the degree of the equation is 1 so the degree was m and uh, sorry degree was n and order was m so m equal to 2 and n equal to 1 third option is correct next problem question number two if y equal to x cube plus tan x then y double dash minus 2 sec square x into tan x is equals to what so y is x cube plus tan x so taking derivative y dash equal to 3 into x square plus tan x derivative of tan x is sec square x now again taking second order derivative 3 into 2 into x and here uh, using the chain rule using chain rule first the derivative of sec a square x and the derivative is 2 sec x and then the derivative of sec x that is sec x tan x okay so that means this is 6x y double dash equal to plus 2 sec square x tan x so taking sec square x into tan x in the left hand side y double dash minus 2 sec square x tan x is equal to 6x so option number 1 is correct next problem problem number 3 for a matrix a 1 3 minus 2 5 a transpose into a is equal to what so what is a 1 3 minus 2 and 5 so what is a transpose just a transpose or a prime this is equal to 1 minus 2 3 and 5 so multiplying these two 1 minus 2 3 and 5 into 1 3 minus 2 5 okay this is row and this is column so 1 into 1 that is 1 plus 1 uh, sorry 3 into 5 sorry 3 into 3 that is 9 then 1 into minus 2 that is minus 2 and 3 into 5 that is plus 15 again this row second row minus 2 into 1 minus 2 5 into 3 plus 15 again second row and second column minus 2 into minus 2 plus 4 and 5 into 5 is plus 25 okay that means 
टेन थर्टीन थर्टीन ट्वेंटी नाइन सो दिस इज सो दिस इज द ऑप्शन टेन थर्टीन थर्टीन ट्वेंटी नाइन सो वन ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर इफ एक्स इज रियल देन द मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स प्लस सेवनटीन सो हियर इट इज गिवेन दैट दिस इज एन एक्सप्रेशन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स प्लस सेवनटीन सो इट इज ऑल्सो सेट दैट एक्स इज रियल सो इफ एक्स इज रियल नंबर एक्स इज ए रियल नंबर देन व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर द मिनिमम वैल्यू वी नो दैट it is greater than equal to 0 because x square is always positive and the square of 0 is 0 that means x square is always non negative so minimum value is 0 so we will try to convert this expression into a square and after that something addition so this is x square minus 2 into 4 into x and this is 4 that means 4 square that means 16 Plus one, so this is seventeen, and sixteen plus one is seventeen. So th- what is this? X square minus two into x into four plus four square plus one. So this is x minus four whole square, and this is one. So this is a whole square term x minus four whole square. So this is as this is a whole square term. So the minimum value of this is zero, and if this is minimum value, if its minimum value is zero, zero. then the whole term will be greater than equal to 1 and so this expression has the minimum value of 1 and other than that that all values are greater than 1 so what is the minimum value when x equal to 4 this expression x square minus 8x plus 17 this is the minimum value has 1 okay other than that this value will be greater than 1 Okay, so option number three is correct. Next problem, problem number five. If a equal to a b c d, then the determinant of a is written as. So what is a? This is a b c and d. <coughs> so determinant of a is equal to det a b c d. That means a d. Minus B C, so A D B C that is not correct. A C B D this is not correct. A C B D this is also not correct. A B C D this this is the correct option. Option number four. Next problem. Problem number six. If a leap year is selected at random, then what is the chance? That it will contain fifty three Tuesdays. So a leap year contains three sixty days, sixty six days. So if twenty fifty two weeks, so generally in a year fifty two weeks are there. So fifty two into seven that is three sixty four. So subtracting these two days are extra. so these two days can be sunday monday monday tuesday tuesday wednesday wednesday thursday thursday friday friday saturday and saturday sunday you can see sunday monday like this so there are How many options? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven options are there. Seven choices. And from this, to get fifty-three Tuesdays, we have to take Monday, Tuesday, and Tuesday, Wednesday. For these two, there is one Tuesday and one Tuesday. So if we get, uh, if we take this option, we will get one Tuesday. There is fifty-two Tuesdays already. And this is fifty fifty third Tuesday. And for this, there will be one Tuesday extra. That will be fifty third Tuesday. So that means total choices are seven. And from this, 
टू आर फॉर आवर फेवरेबल and from this 2 is in our favor so that means 2 by 7 so answer will be 2 that is 2 by 7 next problem problem number 7 the value of lambda so that the vectors x equal to 3 i cap plus 2 j cap plus 9 k cap and y equal to i cap plus lambda j cap plus 3 k cap are perpendicular to each other so if a vector a is like this a i cap plus p1 j cap plus c1 k cap and another vector is a2 i cap plus b2 j cap plus c2 k cap and a vector is perpendicular to v vector then the condition is a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0 okay so here this is a1 this is b1 this is c1 and this is a2 b2 c2 so what is a1 a1 is equal to 2 3 b1 equal to 2 c1 equal to 9 and a2 equal to 1 b2 equal to lambda and c2 equal to 3 so multiplying these two 3 into 1 plus 2 into lambda Plus nine into three, that is equal to zero. So three plus two lambda plus thir twenty seven equal to zero. That means two lambda plus thirty equal to zero. That means two lambda equal to minus thirty and lambda equal to minus fifteen. So option number two is correct. Next problem. Eight. The solution of the differential equation x cube y into dx. Equal to dy each, so we will use the separation of variable here. So x cube into y into dx equal to dy. So that means dx into x cube equal to dy by y. Integrating both sides, we will get x to the power four by four equal to ln y plus c. Okay, so here the option. Two is correct. Okay. Next problem. Y nine y equal to log x to the base a. Then dy dx is what? So y is log x to the base a. So this is y dash or dy dx. This is equal to one by x into log A to the base e, okay. So we can write it as log x to the base e into log e to the base a. So this is so this is a constant. That means the derivative of this is zero. So it will be as it is log e base a and log x to the base e. The derivative of this is one by x. So d d x of this y equal to one by x and into log e base a and it is also written as log a base e in the denominator. Okay, this is the properties of log. So the first option is correct. Next problem. Question number ten. Which of the following statement is true for f x? Equal to four x cube minus six x square minus seventy two x plus thirty. So we will do the routine checkup. That means first write f x equal to four x cube minus six x square minus seventy two x plus thirty, and then f dash x. That is twelve x square minus twelve x minus seventy two, and to find the Critical points, so f dash x equal to zero. That will give the critical points. So that means twelve x square minus twelve x minus seventy two is equal to zero. That means twelve common. So x square x square minus x minus seventy two equal to zero. 
so this is x square minus 3x plus 2x oh, sorry 72 not 72 6 minus 6 equal to 0 uh, minus 6 equal to 0 that would give x minus 3 into x plus 2 equal to 0 that would give x equal to 3 and minus 2 so we have got the critical points critical points that means 3 and minus 2 that means whether 3 has maximum or minimum or 2 has maximum or minimum let's check so f double dash x is equal to what 24x minus 12 so this is f dash x so 24x minus 12 because f dash x was 12x square minus 12x minus 72 okay so now f dash double dash 3 check f double dash 3 okay f double dash 3 24 into 3 minus 12 this is greater than 0 that means fx has minimum at x equal to 3 and f double dash 2 minus 2 this is negative because minus 24 into minus 2 and again minus 12 this is less than 0 that means fx has maximum at x equal to minus 2 how the graphs look like like this this is minus 2 and this is 3 so fx has minimum maximum so here this is maximum and then here is minimum okay now we have done this using the graph now we will check using the first order derivative that means f dash x is greater than 0 or f dash x is less than 0 okay so let's check what was f dash x 12x square minus 12x minus 72 so what is f dash say f dash minus 5 so f dash minus 5 is 12 into 25 into minus 5 minus 72 so this is 12 into 25 minus 60 minus 72 and this is greater than 0 so fx is increasing so so in the left hand side of minus 2 that means minus infinity to minus 2 it is increasing we have checked and let us take f dash 0 f dash 0 is minus 72 so this is less than 0 that means minus 2 to 3 fx is decreasing and let us check f dash 5 so f dash 5 is what 12 into 25 this is plus 60 so that does not matter okay minus 60 minus 72 and this is greater than 0 so again fx is increasing so minus 2 left hand side of minus 2 it is increasing and right hand side of 3 it is increasing and between this minus 2 to 3 it is decreasing so what is the options so the options are f is strictly increasing in the interval minus infinity to 2 minus 2 it is true fx is strictly increasing in the interval 3 to infinity it is also true and f, a, f is decreasing in the interval minus 2 to 3 it is also true and f is neither increasing nor decreasing in r and this is also true because first it is increasing then again decreasing again increasing so in the whole interval it is not increasing not decreasing so all four are true that means option number d all are true okay next problem question number 11 if a equal to 4 2x minus 3 x plus 2 x plus 1 
is a symmetric matrix then x equal to what what is symmetric matrix for a matrix a transpose equal to a then it is called a symmetric matrix so what is a transpose a transpose equal to 4 x plus 2 x 2x minus 3 and x plus 1 so this is equal to 4 2x minus 3 x plus 2 x plus 1 this is 2 are equal and then corresponding elements are also equal that means 2x minus 3 is equal to x plus 2 so x equal to 5 that means third option is correct so next problem question number 12 is saying if a is subset of b then p of b condition a equals to what so we know p of b condition a is equal to p of b intersection a divided by p of a so if a is a subset of b that means a intersection b is equal to a that means p of b intersection a is p of a and divided by p of a that means 1 so option number 1 is correct next problem 13 evaluate integration 0 to 2 pi 3 to the power sin x by 1 plus 3 to the power sin x dx so here we will use a property that integration a to b fx dx is equal to integration a to b f of a plus b minus x dx okay so let us take this integral as i 0 to 2 pi 3 to the power sin x divided by 1 plus 3 to the power sin x dx so this is equal to 0 to 2 pi using this formula 3 to the power sin of 2 pi minus x divided by 1 plus 3 to the power sin of 2 pi minus x and sin of 2 pi minus x this is 2 pi and minus x is in the fourth quadrant so that means 0 to 2 pi 3 to the power minus sin x divided by 1 plus 3 to the power minus sin x so this is 0 to 2 pi 1 by 3 to the power sin x and this is 1 plus 1 by 3 to the power sin x so this is equal to what this is equal to 0 to 2 pi 1 by 1 plus 3 to the power sin x so that means i equal to 0 to 2 pi 3 to the power sin x divided by 1 plus 3 to the power sin x and this is also equal to integration 0 to 2 pi 3 uh, 1 by 1 plus 3 to the power sin x so that means 2i this is equal to these two adding these two 3 to the power sin x divided by 1 plus 3 to the power sin x plus 0 to 2 pi 1 by 1 plus 3 to the power sin x so that means 0 to 2 pi 1 plus 3 to the power sin x divided by 1 plus 3 to the power sin x and obviously dx everywhere is dx here also dx 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 and dx okay so that is equal to 0 to 2 pi dx that means x 0 to 2 pi so that is 2 pi this is equal to 2i equal to 2 pi so i equal to pi that means the integral i equal to pi answer is option d pi next problem question number 14 if y equal to tan x plus 1 by 3 log x minus x then dy ds is equal to what so y equal to tan x plus 1 by 3 log x minus x so what is y dash the derivative of tan x is sec square x and 1 by 3 log x derivative of log x is 1 by x and derivative of x is 1 
so sec square x plus 1 by 3x minus 1 which option option number b is correct next problem the equation of a line passing through the point minus 3 comma 2 comma minus 4 and equally inclined to the axis r okay so let us assume the angle of this line with the axis is theta so that means theta 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 the all the angles are equal and the cosines of this theta cos square theta plus cos square theta plus cos square theta the direction cosines all sum up to 1 that means 3 cos square theta equal to 1 so that means cos theta equal to plus minus 1 by root 3 and as the direction cosines and direction ratios are proportional that means x minus minus 3 that means plus 3 equal to y minus 2 and equal to z plus 4 divided by all the direction cosines 1 by plus minus 1 by root 3 plus minus 1 by root 3 and here also plus minus 1 by root 3 so this got cancelled that means the equation is x plus 3 equal to y minus 2 equal to z plus 4 okay so the second option is correct this is next problem 16 evaluate minus 1 to 1 3 x square by 1 plus 4 to the power 10 x dx so integration minus 1 to 1 3 x square by 1 plus 4 to the power 10 x dx so this integral has no solution as elementary functions like polynomials or trigonometric function or logarithm or exponential but evaluating this function using the python library we can get the answer 1 so the answer of this question is 1 next problem 17 the area of the triangle whose two sides are represented by the vectors 2i and minus 3j is so this is 2i vector suppose and this is 3j vector minus 3j okay so area of this triangle what is this area of the triangle so this is 3 unit and this is 2 unit that means 1 by 2 3 into 2 that means 3 unit I mean 3 square units okay so answer would be B 3 square units next problem the function fx this is continuous at x equal to pi when k equals to so limit x tends to pi by 2 fx this is also equal to f of pi by 2 so what is this limit limit x tends to pi by 2 the fx is k cos x divided by pi minus 2x this is equal to at x equal to pi by 2 fx is 3 this is 3 so that means k cos x so let us compute this limit so let assume x minus sorry pi minus 2x equal to some y so x tends to pi by 2 means y tends to 0 okay so that means limit y tends to 0 k cos x in place of x we can write pi minus y by 2 okay so pi minus y by 2 whole divided by 2 divided by y so this is pi by 2 minus y by 2 that means limit y tends to 0 k sin y by 2 divided by y so this is limit y tends to 0 k sin y by 2 divided by y by 2 into half okay so this is 1 so this is k by 2 so 
के बाई टू इज इक्वल टू थ्री दैट मीन्स के इक्वल टू सिक्स दैट मीन्स द वैल्यू ऑफ के इज सिक्स ऑप्शन नंबर बी नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सो क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी आर एसरसन रीजन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन कैरिंग वन मार्क इच टू स्टेटमेंट्स आर गिवेन वन लेवल्ड एज एसरसन ए एंड द अदर इज लेवल्ड एज रीजन आर सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द कोर्स ए बी सी डी गिवेन बिलो बोथ एसरसन एंड रीजन आर ट्रू एंड द रीजन आर इज द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ एसरसन ए both assertion and reason are true but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion a and c and d is a is true r is false a is false and r is true okay so question number 19 is saying assertion let a relation r be defined from set a 1 2 5 6 to a is r equal to this वन 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 कमा सिक्स सिक्स कमा वन देन आर इज ए सीमेट्रिक रिलेशन सो चेक दैट दिस इज ए सीमेट्रिक रिलेशन बिकॉज एक्स कमा वाई बिलंगस टू आर इम्प्लाइज वाई कमा एक्स बिलंगस टू आर ओके सो वन वन एंड वन वन इज देयर वन सिक्स इज देयर सिक्स वन इज देयर सो एसरसन इज राइट and the reason is a relation r in the set is called symmetric if a comma b belongs to r implies b comma a belongs to r for every every ab belongs to a so this is not correct because whenever ab belongs to r then we have to check whether b comma a is belongs to r or not this is not for every a comma b that is belongs to a we have to check those ab which are in the relation r for those those ab will be there then we check ba will be there in the r this is not for for all ab because see that 1 comma 2 belongs to some a cross a but this is not belongs to r but this r is symmetric so a is true but r is false and the option ab is not correct because both are not true if both are true then we will check that the reason is the correct explanation of the assertion or not okay so option number c next problem assertion the inverse of sine function is defined in the interval minus pi to 0 and 0 to pi etc reason the inverse of a sine function is denoted by sin inverse this reason is true because the inverse function of sin is denoted by sin inverse x like this sin inverse x but the inverse of a sine function is not defined in this interval minus pi to 0 and 0 to pi because the sine function is like this here it is 0 it is pi by 2 and this is pi so if we draw a horizontal line then it will cut two points for this sine graph that means we have two values of x for which the sin x is equal that means sin y and sin x is equal that means inverse exist not possible that means a is false and this reason is true that means option number d is correct a is false and reason is true so we have done 20 mcq problems for 2025 board exam hope you understand that and i will bring more mcqs later in this channel if you don't subscribe you will miss that so please subscribe and press the bell icon thank you